Hi everyone, Alina from Exclamate Mastery here. And today I want to talk about how to add a deck to a staircase. So I think a couple of videos back, one of you had asked how to do this and it actually takes uh, quite a few steps and something that's really fun to do. Uh, I do this in a, a lot of my classes that I, I, I teach. So uh, we'll see how you have to take the staircase, create it, and you actually have to lower it to meet the deck. So there's a couple of what can be tricky if you don't know where to look uh, steps to this, but it's a lot of fun and uh, we're going to take a look at how to do this and you can add some railing and do some other really fun things. So let's go take a look how to add your staircase to a deck in Sketch. Right here we are, we're in an estimate and we're in sketch, of course, and this is the outcome. You can see the stairs leading up to the deck, like so. I could actually even remove the railing if I needed to, but I've got railing in there now. And you can see they have dropped down below. So there's this is assuming that the stairs are in a different grade than the deck, meaning the deck is on a crawl space or something like that, uh, along with the home. So that's kind of a common scenario, that's why I have those stairs drop down like that, you may not need to do such a far drop down, maybe you just need one or two treads, but I thought it'd be fun just to show you how to do this. So I'm going to delete that staircase off, we're going to start again. I just went ahead and added a nice little vertex here, just for fun. I can show you how to do that really quick, you just take your vertex tool and just add a little vertex there. I like mine to be about three feet, just for when I'm doing this as an example, so we're going to Put that at three foot there, just a nice little vertex, just makes it more fun. We're going to go up to the staircase tool and we're going to grab a custom staircase because these other staircases that you grab, they have huge walls, they have a lot of predetermined preferences uh, that aren't needed here for this deck staircase. So I like, I generally use custom staircase just in general in Xactimate and um, if you follow any of my videos prior, you'll, you'll know that uh, I'm a big fan of custom staircase here. Now it's loaded to my cursor, and this is the bottom tread. So I need to use this staircase out here in blank space. If I start here with the bottom tread, it's gonna go upward away from the deck, correct? So we don't wanna do that. We wanna start out in blank space. Also, it's not angled correctly. It's another reason I like to do the vertex tool on the front deck, so I can show you how you can add an angled staircase, gosh, staircase if necessary. So if you followed my video from last week, all we need to do is use the tab key while that is still attached to our cursor in the ghost image. We can use our tab key all day long to spin that around. So I'm gonna start out in blank space, tab it around to the correct angle to match my vertex. Left click once, and then I left click once here, guys, and I let off the mouse. I'm not left click holding and dragging. Just click once to set this, and then pull it up to the deck. Now sometimes you might get the no smoking sign, and it may not want to connect, and that's okay. You can try to set it. See, this time it didn't. Just kind of hover, and sometimes you'll get it, sometimes you won't. Just gotta get to the right spot so that no smoking sign does not appear. Then I left click once to set the staircase. Okay, so just one more time for those of you that don't use the staircase to cool very often. Let's go ahead and delete that off. We're gonna go ahead and set your tread, left click once, Move your cursor up towards the deck. I'm not left click holding dragging here. Try to get it right there matched up. Left click once to place the staircase. Now that I have the staircase created, I can dial some things in. First of all, I've got a wall here. See that? I've got a nice couple of walls and it looks really crazy. They're also floating, hovering above the deck. That's no good either. So there actually usually is a wall here um, right there below the stairs and some other funky things happen when you look at it. So first thing I do is I click on the end of the staircase and I delete that off. So now it's connected. Second, what I do is I grab the walls on either side. Notice I'm not grabbing the staircase itself, okay, because that's going to have its own properties, staircase properties. I'm grabbing the walls on either side to get rid of these big walls jutting upward because they're confusing and they're in the way. So I grab the walls, I go to the properties, and where it says wall type full, I just say missing end to end, right? Because outside, we're not gonna add any drywall. We don't need a full surface to uh, deal with here. We just need our little railings, which is what will pop up 
when you take those away missing end to end. Now we have a gap here in between the stairs. It's not quite lined up. And of course we've got the huge gap where it's floating, hovering in space like a little crazy ghost. Um, so let's go ahead and move this stairs over. Using the red diamond next to the stairs, I can move this back and forth here. And it'll always try to auto align one of the sides of the staircase to the vertex. So then when I have one side lined up, I'm just simply gonna move the other one and it'll kind of magnetize to the other vertex there. It's really great how Xactimate tries to line everything up in a nice tight little area. So that is looking good as far as that goes on the vertex. Now it, the stairs are still hovering. So what I need to do here, I would like the stairs to go three foot below grade. So in the staircase properties this time, not the walls, I am choosing the staircase properties. We're gonna go to the floor height under dimensions. So if your dimensions is closed, be sure to open that up. Sometimes that likes to collapse on itself. We are going to make the floor height three foot and the relation to the level is below. We're dropping the staircase three foot below the level. And of course, in real life, you'll have these actual dimensions of how far you need to drop your staircase. Maybe you only have, you know, like two or three treads. So you can shorten that and then re uh, go to the staircase properties and work with your risers and all of that. But this is just theoretical today, so I'm just going to kind of mess with this until I can get it to line up. In the real world, you'll have counted all the risers and you'll know the total rise of the staircase, so you won't have the problem that I'm gonna have. But uh, we went three foot below, I got a little bit closer here. We might try, I don't know, three and a half foot or let's try four foot just to see how that looks. And yeah, it's, that's okay, I still got, it's still off a little bit here, so maybe we do need to go to four foot six. Um, but you get the idea. I'm just, you know, again, in a th theoretical environment, uh, sometimes things don't line up, but yeah, I was able to get it to look pretty good. Uh, but out in the real world, you'll have all the real dimensions and you won't have to monkey around with it like I just did. But if you want to play around and give this a try, just keep working with that relation to level until it drops down and lines up with your deck that you've created. So that is how you create a staircase onto the deck. Go ahead and try it, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy the staircase tool. The custom staircase tool, by the way, is the way to go. I don't really use any of these other ones very often. So give that a try. Of course, if you like this video, like this topic, be sure to press the like button below. That helps me know what topics you guys are really interested in out there. Also, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We release new content every Tuesday. Also, share this with uh, those that maybe have some staircase issues. Uh, this is a pretty easy thing to do once you understand just those, a couple of those settings. So I invite you to share this video as well. For more information on Xmate Mastery and what we do, we train contractors how to use Xactimate. Go visit our website at www.xmatemastery.com. Hope you have a really good week and uh, yeah, I'll see you next Tuesday.